Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Wednesday, May 14th, 2014. Okay, yesterday, uh, retail sales didn't come in very good at all. And that was really out of all the reports yesterday. That was the only one that I really kind of understand what it means. I don't, you know, import and export prices. I suppose unless there's some sort of big move one direction or the other, probably doesn't matter too much. And business inventories, um, well, you know, the report came in in line, I guess you could say. Today we have a producer price index and the petroleum status report. I don't understand and what the impact of this one is but we all know how uh, producer prices can affect uh, purchasing power and then tomorrow we have a couple biggies right away early in the morning okay uh, taking a look across the ponds Asia is mixed with uh, some up some down and Europe is pretty much right across the board. Okay, here in the U.S., opening is looking pretty flat. Gold is up to over 1300 so up $6 overnight. And oil is up to 102 Wow, I had pretty big jump yesterday. That's uh, kind of surprising. Happened in the background. I didn't even know it. Okay, taking a look at the current account right now, the po uh, positions that we are in. Uh, we entered Chipotle yesterday. We entered LinkedIn yesterday. We'll take a look at those. And I went both sides on CVX. Oh, both of them did end up going in. Yeah, okay. Uh, both of them did for both accounts. Okay, and we'll take a look at those when we go through the A-plus list. Without further ado, we'll head right into that. I'm a little concerned about uh, Russell here. And I wanted to alert you right now. I'm going to supply a link in uh, the text for this. Uh, video that is for a website called Testosterone Pit. Uh, it's not what you think it is. This guy's uh, put some pretty interesting data together almost daily, maybe a couple times a day. And I'll put that link in there and it's about how what I've been noticing too and I don't know if you've noticed it as well uh, what, what what I've been noticing is that the Russell, which is kind of a leading indicator, has been struggling here. And if we were to back out a tad, you can see that we have what appears to be sort of a head and shoulders pattern. And, and uh, it came true here. And in the recovery back in April, I guess you could call it a recovery, um, it just didn't even make it back up to the 50. And now we're well below the 50 and remaining below the 50, which is why I want to get out of that um, bull put uh, trade that I'm in. Take my small loss here. Hopefully it's still a small loss when I get out of it today. I was looking at it yesterday and I was going to get out yesterday. So well let's just wait one more day. So um, that's what I'm going to do. But that's a leading indicator, the small caps. And they're not doing too hot right now. So this article kind of talks about uh, issues similar to that. So it's interesting reading. Um, I'm not saying that I subscribe to overall market sentiment because we are momentum traders, but if you happen to have uh, any investments, you may want to consider, just consider putting some back into cash. 
All right, let's get going here. Uh, Apple, we entered Apple. Was that yesterday? Yeah, so got into Apple yesterday. Let's take a look here. No, actually it was the day before. So uh, we are in Apple. Looks like as though it's not going to open too pretty today. So I'll we'll have to see if this momentum trade is going to work out. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. So this is where we're at. We have this horrible split coming up here. It's sort of like the dorky thing that Google's doing. It's these uh, market leaders just, you know, they're doing whatever they can for their own pockets, I guess you might say. But we're just playing what we see. So we may end up with an exit on Apple today. I'm going to take a look at Amazon. Nothing live right now. We have, we're still in a setup on Amazon. So that's two days in a row in that setup and, and it's looking very, very healthy. And we may get a hook today, who knows. Boeing. Um, nothing going there yet. We're a long way from any sort of targeted entry on that one. Baidu. Uh, I did exit this uh, iron condor, complete iron condor yesterday. Uh, I haven't run the numbers yet, but I think it was like a $280 gain or something like that. And I'm counting that as a CSSV2 trade because uh, of trading on both sides of it using the indicators. So and here we have, uh, we actually have a setup here on Baidu for today as well. And that would be a bear call. And this is a, um, let's you mark that like this. This is a 50 delta trade. There's not a lot of momentum, but um, I think that overall market-wise, I think that we're going to have a pullback. Just a feeling that I have. It's not an exact science. I hate to tell you that, but it's not an exact science. All right, Celgene looks like we're still in a setup here for a 20 delta. And that would be a bear call. Chipotle, uh, we are in Chipotle. I don't know why this ended up way over there. Okay. And this is what it looks like from a chart perspective. Uh, so we got in here later on in the day. It was around 1.30 or so. And then, it, you know, of course it saw that I got in, so it, you know, corrected itself and moved back up. Just kidding. It happens. We're playing the momentum. It's still looking down. So we're not in any sort of a panic mode right now at all. Costco, um, we didn't quite get everything we were looking for for a 20 Delta here. Uh, but it's still on our list. It's still in a setup mode for a 20 delta. Moving right along, CVX, we got in on that yesterday with a 20 delta. We're up about five bucks right now. So, oop, I did not mark it. Hang on. There we go. That was fast, wasn't it? Uh, that is what that one looks like. It's a May 5 expiration and a 20 delta. So we'll see how that one works out. I did not do a 50 delta. So we can get rid of this white. Well, let's leave it in there. See if it will have worked out for us. Uh, take a look at the Dow. We have another new high on the Dow. Um, and this is, uh, I'm not trading DIA at all right now. But um, another new high. Just thought you'd like to see that <laughs> in case you haven't been watching the news. 
And then uh, Igor, we had a momentum trade on that, and that's working out for us. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Um, so anyway, um, it's doing pretty well right now. FedEx, uh, we're waiting for an entry down here. F5 Networks. We are still in a setup here for a bear call on F5. And gold. Well, maybe I might be able to look at a covered call today. Maybe not. Doesn't look real promising right now. Um, I think we're going to need to have price up around here at like 127 to give us some decent uh, juice for our covered call. We're looking at it's worth a half a penny right now. Alright, so we can get out of this one for free, but we'll just let it ride for right now. It's going to expire this Friday. Uh, anything else going on? We're looking for a 20 delta here. Um, we probably could play this as an iron condor pretty easily, and that's probably what I will be doing. So we'll wait until we get um, movement up here into the 70 or 80 for the stochastic. And a little confirmation down here on the MACD. And we're ready to rock and roll. Google. All right, Google looks like uh, I would call this alertable for today. And I don't know that it's going to trigger. So well, I'm not even going to put an alert on it, but I'm going to put it in as a setup. Definitely would like to have for an alert both uh, the stochastic and the MACD turning red. So this is still a setup, and this is something that, you know, you take a look at it later in the day. LinkedIn. We are in LinkedIn. Uh, we got in yesterday, about uh, 1.30 again. I just put in a whole bunch of orders in after lunch. And it uh, looks like it's going to play out nicely for us for right now. 3M. 3M, we're waiting for it to come down and hit our target, so we have to let that one simmer for a while longer. NDX, we are still in a setup here for a 20 delta on NDX. Definitely, at least right now, looking like as though this could also be an iron condor candidate or at least you know where you play both sides of it would work out well here and would work out well here for 20 deltas and a 20 delta here so they all look like as though they will did would have worked out quite well uh, this one may have failed but there's a lot of them in here, a lot of opportunity, trading opportunity in there on NDX. Netflix, uh, we are in a setup mode here for a 50 delta. And don't forget that uh, Wednesday is really Tuesday. Wednesday is my favorite day to do the 50 deltas. Uh, Tuesday is the second most favorite, Thursday is the third most favorite, Monday is the fourth most favorite, and sometimes you can even squeeze one in right away in the morning on Friday for Friday's expiration. Uh, Russell, this is the one that I am a little bit worried about and I probably will be exiting it today looking at the way the market may open right now. I don't want to take too big of a hit on this because there is a lot in on this. 
a lot of risk out here. So rather than uh, that's not making any sense. This chart here is not making any. What else do? I, oh, okay. Get rid of that. That looks a little bit better. Get rid of these puppies. Oops. There. Now we don't have to worry about it. SPX. What's going on there? Oh, yeah. Would you want to pull off a 20 delta on the bear call side? Mm, no, not at the moment. Not with what appears to be a new high here. But we will play a 20 delta down here. So we're looking for a little bit of a minor correction or pullback with an upward trend, and we'll jump in on it. TLT uh, still in. I did not close anything on it yesterday. With this move here, I said, why bother? Let's just let this particular one here ride. And the one that's at the 109 level, we're letting that one ride as well. And actually, we have another entry opportunity here. So, let's jump in on that one today. I'll put, whoa, look at where we're going to open here. So, that's good. All right, so I will be playing another one here uh, with uh, probably May 5 expiration with a 20 delta on the bull put side we would be looking at maybe the 110 level here only getting 8 cents uh, may want to stretch this to maybe the 110.50 it gives us 20 cents with a dollar spread no that's yeah that's a 50 Cent spread. Let me just take a look at this. I want to hide positions. Uh, okay, so we got twenty dollars and eighty dollars here. Actually, we'll just call it a dollar. So this is a um, five to one, which is what we like to look for on our twenty deltas, which is pretty much how they work out. We have. Uh, expiration date here and here is our standard deviation and if we look at it from a break-even perspective we have a 75 percent probability of being successful so that's what we would be looking at for today depending on how it moves of course at the open and that's always a biggie so we'll watch that one and put it on our 20 delta list for today. All right, Tesla. Uh, let's see here. Okay, um, we are almost in a setup. Almost in a setup. Looks like it, we're probably going to get a little bit more movement up today. So. We're going to wait on that one. UMP. We're in here with a 20 delta that expires this Friday. Looks like as though it's going to work out pretty well. We get to collect a couple hundred bucks on that one. Where's our short at right now? Our short is at three cents. So, but because of this movement, I see no reason to um, get out of this early. Not, at least not at this point, but what I'm going to do is put an alert on here anyway. This isn't an open trade alert, this is like a closed trade alert. So we'll be watching for that one. And we have a setup here. Well, I would not go against this trend here. This is kind of a strong trend, so I'm holding off on that. I'm going to take that off of there. That was like the Russell. You know, counter trend trade. Eh, pretty risky. 
And last but not least is Visa. We were looking for an entry here. Um, it's getting very, very tight. We're still looking for an entry. I'll leave that alert in, even though we have what appears to be a couple of violations here. But this uh, trend is fairly strong here. So we'll see. We're probably going to lose... 514 you know we're probably gonna lose 40 cents on it when it opens this morning so is it showing that here no it should be showing that over here and it got pegged for the 40 cents but it's not there okay uh, enough rambling that's it for today um, thank you very much for watching have a great day and happy trades